Hi everyone, this is Wayne Eckerson, founder and principal consultant at Eckerson Group, and I'm here today with Alif Tatuk, who's director of Click Research at Click, uh, and she's going to demonstrate for us today the augmented intelligence capabilities uh, within the Click Cognitive Engine that uh, the company uh, released in June, and she's going to demonstrate that using ClickSense, actually the cloud version of that. So Alif, it's all yours. Thank you very much, Wayne. Uh, thank you. Yeah, so um, I'm going to, uh, during the demo, I'm going to show how uh, Click Cognitive Engine supports the analytics needs of different types of users. So I'm going to take you a journey where, um, to show you how Click Cognitive Engine supports the user um, when as they load the data, the associate data, create a content, and ultimately to get insight from the data. So. I'm going to create a new app. Uh, so let's call this app as uh, sales. And I'm just going to drag and drop um, um, a file as this is creating the app. All right. Um, so I'm going to load uh, some sales data. So as I'm loading the data right now, what's going happening is actually Click Cognitive Engine is running a bunch of um, analytics uh, and statistics on the data to understand the nature of the data and then to come up with suggestions in terms of insights that can be taken from the data. So literally, I just uploaded an Excel file and Cognitive Engine has run the um, algorithms on the data, determined already the different data types like uh, geospatial or time, um, and I'm ready to, ge to get insights from this data. So this is the new feature that we have released in June uh, called Insight Advisor. Uh, so by just clicking Generate Insights, Click Cognitive Engine is going to render uh, different types of insights that I can get out of my data. So the first thing that I noticed is, first of all, the Cognitive Engine has recognized that this data is about sales and cost of sales. And then um, by running different algorithms, it was able to pick the, the possible dimensions and measures that can be used to analyze this data. And then on top of that, it was able to render the information with the best visualization options. So for example, it rendered an insight for me to understand cost of sales by country um, or distribution of sales by country. It also does more advanced um, analysis for me. For example, um, this is analysis that I refer is the 80-20 analysis. Um, this is analysis that can, for example, show the user um, the products that make up 80% of the cost of sale. So again, uh, literally me as a user, I haven't done anything, I just loaded my data. And now um, I can uh, go through the insights that are being generated uh, from that data. And if I like any of these insights, I can literally just uh, do um, add to the sheet. And it's like a shopping experience where I found an interesting insight. I can add them uh, to my sheet uh, to be able to um, create a content on the sheet to be able to analyze that. So when I, if I close the Insider Advisor now, as you noticed, all of the um, uh, insights that I've collected from the Insider Advisor are now on my sheet. I can um, click on um, start analyzing my data. So one of the important thing with the Click Cognitive Engine is its capability um, that it also leverages the associative clicks associative engine. So um, as a user, I don't have to do anything to relate data or to think about the best um, fields to analyze data. The cognitive engine working with associative engine takes care of those things. At any point, I can go back to Inside Advisor, um, and then uh, I can actually start typing the questions that I would like to get an answer. For example, uh, if I would like to analyze sales, for example, I can type that. As soon as I type, it renders the information um, related to sales. Um, but let's say I'm interested with the order date uh, with sales to analyze that. So as you notice, it created a line chart, which is the best way of visualizing um, a time-related information. Um, it picked the best aggregation type for this measure. Um, but it also does additional things. For example, it recognized that I'm interested in the order date. And it also created now a chart for me where um, by finding the year-to-date part of the data, um, it helps me to compare um, the year-to-date uh, versus the uh, rest of the year um, type of analysis. So the idea with the Cognitive Engine, we, we wanted to create an exploration experience for the user. So the engine doesn't only render the information that uh, maybe the 
direct answer for you, but it also allows the user to explore um, by helping them to be augmented with the additional information. Like in this case, for example, the year to date, that's an information that's been automatically generated. So this is all good. Um, let's uh, go to the edit. Um, and let's say that now I'm ready to add some more data. So I'm going to add some more data. Um, and literally my file has the name of more data. Um, so I'm going to add employee office products, um, some additional tables um, and click on add data. Again, um, as I load my data now, what just happened is um, the cognitive engine noticed that now um, I, as I loaded more tables, um, it recognizes that there is more table um, in the app. Um, and the first thing for me to do is to associate this information. So this is another place where we are leveraging the power of the cognitive engine, where we suggest um, recommendation um, to associate the data. As you can see on the right side, um, by running uh, statistics, not only on the field names, but on the actual data values, um, the Click Cognitive Engine uh, suggested how those tables can be associated. I can apply them one by one um, and then get the information. For example, it's suggested to associate the sales data with the products by the product ID, or I can just get all the suggestions and apply all. So literally in a couple seconds, um, Cognitive Engine is augmented me as a developer uh, where I can easily associate um, associated all of the information. And of course, in all of the associations, the idea is to augment the user, not to replace them. Um, I can actually click on the field that's been used for the association for those two tables, and I can change them or um, I can create a custom association between them as well. So now um, Cognitive Engine is now making sure that you know the best way to analyze this information for me is to first associate that, and I, I've, I've, I've done that by uh, leveraging the recommendations. So I'm going to load my data, and again, um, by loading the data, now um, the data is reformed. I have fields that I just loaded, and these are the um, information insights that I've already um, rendered. So the next thing that I would like to do is um, actually going to create a new sheet. And um, again, at this stage as a user, I can always go back to Inside Advisor and generate new insights or type the question that I have. But I also want to show you how, in addition to augmenting the user during analysis, Cognitive Engine also augments the developer um, by um, uh, suggesting them the best way of analyzing and visualizing a, a, a given field. So let's say that as a developer, I would like to um, create a chart uh, with, the, with the sales information. Uh, so let me find the field sales. So I'm just going to drag and drop that. So it knows that the best way to visualize sales um, uh, by aggregating it by sum. So it, it picks the uh, best um, aggregation method and it created a KPI object for me. So let's say that I also would like to look at the quantity. So I'm going to drag and drop quantity. Now, what just happened is um, Cognitive Engine constantly looks for my actions and it uh, renders the information in the best possible way. So I have two measures. And it still thinks that the best way to visualize those two measures is by leveraging the KPI object, but uh, by, by actually comparing them. So I have the sum of quantity in here as well. So at this stage, let's say that I'm interested with um, seeing this information by customer. So I'm just going to drag and drop that. So again, as I interact with my data as a user, I don't need to know what's the dimension or a measure. All I'm doing is just dragging and dropping the fields. Again, one of our goals with the Cognitive Engine is to increase the data literacy of the users. And now as a developer, um, I'm being augmented um, without knowing any, any specific BI terminology. The system is allowing me to create the best right visualization to analyze the information. In this case, it's a scatter plot. So um, again, going back to my point that as a user, I don't need to know anything about dimensions or measures because it picks the right, um, right field um, and where it should be. But let's say um, the Cognitive Engine has suggested customer to be a dimension, but if I want it to be a measure, when I drag and drop it to be a measure, it automatically picks the right um, way of aggregating that. So for customer, it, it thought that uh, doing a count listing on the customer will be the best way uh, to use that field as a measure. And then it automatically also changed my visualization uh, to a table. So let's say I want to actually also analyze this by city. 
So when I drag and drop CT, um, again, now given the number of data that it has, um, the best way to visualize this information is a scatter plot, um, and then it rendered the information. And actually, one of the measures, um, which is the uh, distinct count uh, of customers, has been used as the size of the bubbles. Again, going back to data literacy, um, it, it is always helping the user um, to be augmented. Let's say uh, if I want to remove uh, one of these um, fields, uh, again, it will now render it, the information as a map. So um, this is how. Uh, we are augmenting the user um, from data to get to the insight. Um, and as they load their data, they don't only have the capability to directly go to the um, generating insights. If they choose to uh, make the uh, create the content, they are still augmented. And also, they are augmented as they um, associate their data. So the second part of the demo I would like to show you is how uh, Cognitive Engine also um, Analyze uh, helps the business user um, to be augmented um, in a governed environment. So I'm going to open an app uh, that's been already created for me and assume that I'm a business user and I'm using uh, my um, app or dashboard uh, in a governed manner. Um, let's say I'm interested with the distribution efficiency um, so I can analyze um, the data on this beautifully created dashboard. Again, I may. Um, as a business user, I have the right to go to the insight. Um, as we all know, uh, sometimes the, the question that I may have on a given day, maybe the answer um, has not been created on the, on the dashboard. So I can open the uh, insight uh, advisor. Um, again, uh, now as a user, um, I can just click on the generate insights. And then as I haven't tell my intent to the use system, um, the cognitive engine in that case is going to use all of the dimensions and measures uh, that's available to me to generate insights. But let's say I have a burning question because I would like to uh, um, analyze this year's sales versus last year's sales. As soon as I start typing, cognitive engine provides me things that I can leverage. And I already have um, a question that's been defined. And I can now look at the this year versus last year's sales and it's going to generate the insights. Um, and again, with my connection, um, yeah. Um, so it generated a KPI object that I can see this information. Um, it also actually, again, going back to my point about um, our, our goal is to create an exploratory experience where for the user to see the insights, it created a distribution of this universe's last year sales by geography um, and by, by the related dimensions, like for example, company. Um, Maybe I'm interested with the uh, cost of good sales uh, for year to date. Um, and let's say I would like to say, see this information by uh, uh, store drill down. So it, it, again, the point here is um, as soon as I uh, start typing things, uh, the, the uh, cognitive engine understands my intent and then map that intent um, to the data to generate insights. Again, as I find an insight interesting, I can just edit um, to an existing sheet, or I can create a new sheet. And in this case, I'm going to create a new sheet. Um, and let's say I want to also analyze this by maybe um, region. Um, and generated that information as well. And I'm going to add that to the sheet that I just created. So literally in a couple seconds, um, as a business user in a governed environment, I had business additional based business questions that I wasn't able to answer with the existing dashboard. And through the cognitive engine, now um, I've been augmented to, with, to help with my data literacy. Um, and I just created a new sheet uh, with the, that has the answer to my questions. And again, I didn't have to do anything to associate data, to link data. Everything has been linked. Uh, when I click on, um, on one of those charts, as you can do, I can drill down and make selections and analyze the information the way that I want to. Again, this was a quick demo of the features uh, that we have released in June with the Click Cognitive Engine with Inside Advisor, um, helping different all different types of users um, during their analytics journey, uh, from loading the data, associating data, creating a content, and ultimately for all of the business users um, as they create as they use their apps and the dashboards, they can literally ask the question and get the insight and then leverage that in their um, business analysis. Alif, very uh, powerful demo. Can't wait to see what's next. So thank you. Thank you very much, Ben. Thank you for inviting.